dear beautiful souls hope you're having a great day and uh, just jumping in with today's live video and talking about procrastination this is one of the main things that people come to me with uh, when they're wanting to change their life and they're feeling frustrated uh, because they can't understand why they keep procrastinating on the things that they know are going to make a difference to their life and so uh, often this can actually really start to impact uh, our well-being this can start to impact hey Sandra great to have you on here darling and um, really start to impact not only our well-being because if we're procrastinating on exercising procrastinating on eating healthy uh, you know like all of those things that can definitely impact our well-being but it also impacts our emotional and mental well-being in the fact that it erodes our self-confidence and self-belief the more that we procrastinate on stuff uh, the more this impacts on um, those things simply because we start to not believe or trust in ourselves anymore because we're not showing up uh, and often I used to tell this story uh, years ago uh, which I think is, is really uh, quite relevant um, and I'll share the story really quickly with you uh, you know if you had a friend that you were going to catch up for coffee um, or going to meet and uh, you know you went there and your friend wasn't there they didn't show up you'd be kind of like oh well that's you know gosh I wonder what's wrong with them I hope they're okay um, you tried ringing them they wouldn't pick up they wouldn't answer uh, all of those things and then uh, you finally they phone you back like uh, you know the following day and say oh I'm so sorry I, I missed that time um, I got just got distracted with the kids and things like that and you're like oh okay well I still really want to see you you know would love to catch up again um, anyway like this goes on two three times how would you be feeling about that friend if you're sitting there at that cafe and you're checking your watch and, and they're not there they're not showing up then that is so so frustrating and this is honestly how you feel about that friend is how you end up feeling about yourself when you continue to promise yourself that oh I'll get this done or I'll work on this or I'll start this and you don't show up for yourself. Now, I want to dive into a few of the reasons why. Because if you are low on physical energy, there can be a couple of different things that happen around this. Um, if you are low on physical energy, quite often anything can feel overwhelming. Meaning that, you know, just even operating on a day-to-day -day level, we can tend to put things off because we're feeling low in physical energy. We feel like we have to motivate ourselves, or we feel that we have to push ourselves, or we feel like we have to do all these particular things um, to try and get ourselves into action. And quite often we put the labels, I, I have to, I need to, I should, I must, all of those different things now, if somebody was standing behind you and pushing you in the back, what would your natural inclination be? Right? You'd probably push back and be like, get off me, like stop pushing me. Um, that's exactly the energy that we're doing to ourselves when we believe, when we say these things you know i have to i need to i should i must it's literally like we've got the drill sergeant whipping our butt from behind ourselves and it never feels good it produces so much resistance um, and it exhausts us and depletes us even further when we're trying to push ourselves to get these things done uh, and the aim is to get into inspiration where we're then you know somebody's taking us by the hand well this is what it feels like is you know your higher self your larger self is coming in taking you by the hand and saying come on let's let's go do this thing this is going to be great it's going to be fun now you may not feel like that about the dishes or about different things that you, perhaps you need to do around the house um hey Kayla great to have you on here Dom. Um, however, this is literally um, being able to be the master of your own emotions and to be able to change your emotional state. This is what that ability does for you. You're no longer pushing yourself to get things done. You're now leading yourself to get things done. Um, now, the other thing that can be happening, and so if you're in extreme burnout or if you are physically fatigued, like I mentioned, you're in really, really low energy, you're going to feel like you have to push yourself or try to motivate yourself to get things done. Again, this leads to the loss of self-confidence. Um, and quite often, honestly, as women, and certainly I've experienced this myself, was not actually realizing how physically tired I sometimes am and just kind of going, God, what the hell's wrong with me? Like, why can't I just like get in and 
and do this thing. Um, and that's what I love about muscle testing as well because I muscle test my life force energy um, and what's showing up to give my mind because it's my mind that's pushing me in that moment where I can drop back into my heart, have compassion, have self-love uh, for myself in that moment and be gentler and kinder, um, which is inspiring me rather than pushing myself. And so these things are super, super important to know. But if you are burnt out, if you are exhausted and you're not aware of that, you may be feeling like a failure. You may be feeling, um, which only exacerbates the burnout, right? Because it makes you feel like absolute rubbish about yourself um, because then the ego mind comes in and it starts to criticize us and starts to say, oh, well, you're hopeless or you're a failure or you're no good at this or you're not enough or you're not a good enough mom or like all the shaming and blaming that goes on from that inner critic. And again, this just makes us feel like more emotional rubbish. And the lower your emotional state, the lower your physical energy is going to be. You only have to think about how you feel if you are grief stricken or feeling powerless in a situation or apathetic. Generally in that energy state or that emotional state, you feel like you can't get off the lounge or you don't want to get off the lounge. You don't really care about anything at that point. Everything kind of feels a bit pointless and a bit meaningless. Whereas when you're excited, when you're passionate, when you're joyful, uh, when you're optimistic, all of those things, uh, absolutely. Um, you know, have you feeling energized? Have you feeling excited? You know, there's a lot of a lot more energy in those emotional states as well. And so our physical energy, our emotional state and our mental state, as well as our spiritual state. And our spiritual state is really the connection with ourself and with our higher self, uh, namely self-love. Um, all of those things work together in order to help you move forward. Now, another reason why you may be feeling overwhelmed is if you are an A-type achiever or you're used to pushing yourself, uh, you know, perhaps you've been highly dynamic uh, previously and now you're wondering what the hell is going on with you, why you can't get stuff done like you used to. It may be because you continue to push yourself. Now you're experiencing, um, you know, some of those symptoms of burnout, um, but also you may may have an unrealistic to-do list on your list every single day if you're anything like I was and sometimes still can be. So what this means is that uh, you end up putting so much on your to-do list that it's literally maybe two, three days work and expect yourself or feel like a failure if you don't get through that list, even though it's actually a physical impossibility to get all those things done in a single day, yet you're expecting yourself to and feeling like a failure around it. And it's exactly uh, the things that I speak about help people to get clear about uh, in my Thrive program as well. The other thing uh, is quadrants. And so a lot of people live within that uh, quadrant one, which is everything's urgent, everything's important, everything should have been done yesterday. And when we live in that state of stress, the brain cannot stay there. So often it will go to quadrant four, which is it's not urgent, it's not important. Uh, often it's the land of escapism. It's the land of distraction. It's the land of procrastination. That's when we fall in the Facebook scroll hole. That's where we're like, just kind of, you know that you're exhausted. You know you should be hopping up and maybe going to bed, but you, you know, you're sitting there in front of the TV and, and, and you're not moving. Uh, you're too tired to kind of do anything about it. That's when we're falling into quadrant four, um, which is that land of escaping our life simply because our life is so stressful on a day-to-day -day level because you're making everything urgent and important without even knowing that you're doing that. So uh, all of these factors really make a huge play into how overwhelmed we feel and then the level of procrastination that actually plays out for us as well because after a while, you know, the body gets tired of feeling like, you know, we've got this drill sergeant behind us that's constantly cracking the whip and that constant feeling of pressure where our body needs a rest from that and procrastination is the side benefit um, or, you know, having the, the rest through procrastination is a side benefit. However, it's not resourceful because it doesn't serve your self-esteem. It doesn't serve, uh, you know, your well-being in, in many ways and often, like I mentioned, um, can have us feeling a lot lack of confidence, a lack of self-belief and 
the wheels can start to fall off all the things around us if we're not staying on top of you know maybe the things at home or staying on top of the work situation um, all of these things start to compound to build greater and greater stress which generally exacerbates the effects of burnout as well so if that is you if you're experiencing a lot of what I've spoken about please reach out to me um, send me a, a PM uh, and let's see if and how I may be able to help you um, and uh, because it, it is so powerful to be able to step back from this to have clarity around A, why you're creating it and why you're doing it uh, and B, how to actually overcome this as well to really lead a life that feels amazing for you to gain your self-confidence back, to feel incredible within yourself again, to be living a life of true joy, true happiness, true passion, doing the things that light your heart up and speak to you the most um, as well as you know getting some of those things done but in a way that feels really good for you, not in a way where you're having to push and struggle and uh, motivate yourself and crack that whip on yourself as well. It's so powerful uh, to have these tools and now more than ever before, it is the time to develop emotional wisdom and uh, emotional mastery. Um, obviously with everything going on in the world, knowing how to gain a sense of certainty, a sense of faith, um, being able to know that no matter what, you'll handle anything that comes up and be able to move through that is absolutely essential uh, for living in these current times as well. So have an amazing rest of your day. Lots of love to you. And uh, like I mentioned, if this does speak to you, please reach out, send me a PM. Often so many women don't actually even know that they're in burnout. They know they're tired. They know that they're kind of just over everything, feeling a bit resentful or a bit angry or a bit annoyed. Um, but often they don't know just how depleted their system actually is. Uh, and uh, sometimes they take it to the point where, you know, one day they just cannot get out of bed and they're wondering what the hell has happened and what's going on with their body. Don't let yourself get to that point. It's so essential uh, to take care of yourself um, and to put yourself first by taking care of your own well-being. When we do that from that space, uh, as women, we can give from the overflow and in a really sustainable way that brings and adds joy rather than trying to give to others from a place of resentment, anger, or feeling obligated or um, that we have to or need to. Again, all of those things are very self-depleting energies um, and very draining energies upon our system. So uh, have an amazing rest of your day. So much love and gratitude uh, to you for uh, jumping in and watching this. And also, as always, if uh, this has been helpful for you, please like, love, share it, um, or perhaps you know another woman that this would really, really serve. Um, and uh, if you do, uh, please share this with her if this can help her as well. Lots of love. Bye.